Welcome back to MJ School of Mining and Geology. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of the magnetic method in geophysics. Stick around to discover how we use the Earth's magnetic field to uncover hidden treasures underground. The magnetic method utilizes the natural magnetic properties of the Earth. By measuring variations in the magnetic field, geologists can identify subsurface structures and mineral deposits. The magnetic method is a geophysical technique used to detect variations in the Earth's magnetic field. These variations can reveal the presence of different rock types, mineral deposits, and even archaeological artifacts. Cool, right? The Earth's magnetic field originates from the outer core due to the movement of molten iron and nickel within this layer. The outer core, situated beneath the mantle and surrounding the solid inner core, is composed of liquid metals. As these metals move, driven by convection currents caused by heat escaping from the inner core, they generate electric currents. These currents, in turn, produce magnetic fields. The combination of the Earth's rotation and the convective movements within the outer core organizes these magnetic fields into a large, cohesive magnetic field that extends from the Earth's interior out into space. This is a magnetometer, a sensitive instrument that measures magnetic field strength. As we walk along our survey area, the magnetometer detects changes in the Earth's magnetic field caused by the magnetic properties of underground materials. During a magnetic survey, geologists systematically collect data along a grid pattern. This helps us create a detailed map of magnetic anomalies, which can point us towards valuable resources or interesting geological structures. Different rocks and minerals affect the magnetic field in unique ways. For example, iron-rich rocks like basalt or ore bodies can cause strong magnetic anomalies, while sedimentary rocks might have a much weaker magnetic response. Back in the lab, we process the data to generate magnetic anomaly maps. These maps highlight areas with significant magnetic variations, guiding us to potential exploration sites. It's like a treasure map, but for geologists. Pink and red colors might imply high magnetic anomalies respectively whereas blue color might imply low magnetic anomalies. The magnetic method is not only useful in mining exploration but also in archaeology. It helps us locate buried structures, ancient artifacts, and even old mining tunnels, revealing secrets of the past. And there you have it, a quick look at the magnetic method in geophysics. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more exciting videos from MJ School of Mining and Geology. Until next time, keep exploring!